I don't know whether to name and shame this person or not. Actually, I won't, because probably when I've calmed down, I will um, eventually negotiate. much better. Beautiful morning. I'm wearing virginal white. I'm off to record a podcast with Kate, my producer, with Shapi Kasandi, who is our contributor, and her new puppy. This is hardly dog walking gear, but I just need to celebrate summer. Have a look. And very comfy shoes. Here we go. Everything's better when it's like this. So, I'm in Blondin Park uh, in Northfields, waiting for my producer Kate. Someone's just someone's just walked past saying, "I love your hair," so that's put me in a good mood. I am absolutely that banal that those sort of things matter. Um, I don't think I've ever explained to you how we do these podcasts. It's very very unedited a bit like this vlog actually we don't really cut much out and Kate and I always like to hit the ground running so the moment I see her we took we press record and then we go and find our guest and our guest is the wonderful comedian Shapi Kusandi um, who is waiting for us we hope in a dog friendly coffee shop then we will walk to that park now in order to get the element of surprise and the organic nature of the podcast I need to meet Kate with this camera going and pressing record on our tape recorder so we get the whole thing as it happens. Look at this lovely little dog. Marlo, say hi. This is Marlo. Marlo, yeah. Marlo, hello. Oh, oh, I think I like this place, that's fine. Oh, how lovely, right, I'm gonna go and find Kate. Here she is. I'm dressed like a virgin. I was just about to say, you look so virginal. You look gorgeous. How Happy summer. is that? Happy summer. Here we well, are. the weather is with us, Kate. Well, I think it's coming back. I think it is, hopefully for this. I didn't bring the But it's actually cooled me down slightly because it was very hot on the that tube. I've done the whole of the Piccadilly the line. I know, isn't it crazy? I've been from Cockbusters to here. When are they going to put air conditioning in the Piccadilly line? It's too hot. There were people profusely sweating oh, everywhere. Oh, and people, the announcement said, um, take your rucksacks off and then everyone can breathe more easily. I mean, that's incredible, isn't it? I'm a, you took the tube. Yeah, I took the tube. I haven't brought Matilda because it's just too hot. And also, shappy has got a puppy who will just wear her out. Yeah. You know, so I just didn't do it. We're excited to meet the puppy. Yeah, same, same here. This do you is... think a second dog is a really bad idea? I do. I really do. <sighs> It's Sorry, I do. I'm not putting it out there, but yeah, I James think it is. really loves You've dogs. You've got so much oh, no. on your plate. You're Please right. don't. <laughs> We're here talking about whether <laughs> Shappy Cassandi should get a second dog or not. Um, and is it Sophie? It's Sophie. Sophie knows a lot more about you, Shappy, than I do. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, Sh and Sophie's <laughs> just gone. You've got too much on your plate. But you've got two dogs. No, I have one dog. This oh, is this a neighbour's dog. Ah, right. Yeah. But I always say you only get to see the character. Look at these. You see the character of each dog by the side of another dog. Would you not agree? Oh gosh, no, absolutely. But you know, this but, is what this is what parks are for. And they, they mix. But you go home and you you the dogs sleep. Shappy. Uh, you know, I've got to listen to Sophie because Sophie, <laughs> I'm very wise. She's very wise, <laughs> and, and so we have a really tight knit community, mostly held together by Sophie. She looks after everyone. I left my, my daughter at, at her house the other day and forgot to pick her up until the middle of the next day. I didn't notice she was gone. I'll be honest. Oh, I just got bummed in the face. <laughs> I could watch dogs forever, couldn't you? Yeah, they're the best. Just, yeah. this is better than going to a matinee of anything in the West End, to be quite honest. Dogs are they're, they're people, they're amazing. Mm. They're, they've all got their individual characters. They have? 
they all want to be loved and they, they all just completely love their owners and it's um that yeah I, I've I've always loved dogs but it, it when I since I've had one it's a bit like kids I always liked kids but then when I had one I was really interested in everything to do with kids and now with dogs I'm the same I'm fascinated by other people's dogs I notice them in a way that I didn't used to notice them before Oh, Marley. Oh, Marley. Marley doesn't like to play. Marley. He's happy. But he's on the sideline. Yes. Oh, Marley. Yeah, Marley's okay. grateful. He's a little Marley old looks man. grateful, aren't you? <laughs> Hello. You probably recognise this backdrop. Um, I've been using it as a setup for my middle aged minx meets. Now, middle aged minx meets today. An empty chair. <laughs> a fantastic cameraman called Sam. Say hello, Sam. Hello. Um, who's near my neck of the woods, near Brighton. Well, I used to live in Brighton. We can talk about that later. We can. We've yeah, got yeah. hours to talk, Sam, <laughs> because we have no guest. And um, I don't know whether to name and shame this person or not. Actually, I won't, because probably when I've calmed down, I will um, eventually negotiate with her agent and we will get her on. At the moment, I'm so cross, um, and I'm just I'm just stuck here with two fantastic people: Philippe, who edits my YouTube, and Sam, who I've only just met, um, and the Ivy, who is so generous to give us this uh, this room. Um, and we're enjoying coffee, and um, I'm telling both these guys my life story, which is you know actually not that entertaining. But this will fill a bit of this week's vlog, won't it, Philippe? Um, and Sam. I know we will meet we will. in the not too distant future <laughs> and if this person, if we reconvene, you'll be the first to be asked to do it. So it's not at all embarrassing, is it? Second time lucky. Second time lucky. So <laughs> on with the vlog. Do you recognise that? I'm at Hampton Court Palace. Well, I'm almost at Hampton Court Palace. Um, the reason being that we are doing a pre-record uh, because tomorrow, if you watch this on Sunday, tomorrow my whole show is coming from Hampton Court Flower Show. But I'm here to have a look at the palace um, to pre-record. And guess who is my producer today? <laughs> the gorgeous George, so I'm going to try and meet him. He got here early, my train was delayed. Neither of us are very, very good at public transport. But anyway, it's quite chilly. You probably can't hear me, it's probably quite windy as well. There he is. My train was late. Oh, are you okay? Yes. Hi. Just explain what I'm not allowed to wear. She's not allowed to wear open toe sandals, so she's wearing flip flops. Yes, so, no, I'm wearing. <laughs> A platform. Um, Where are your knickerbockers? And no, you're meant to be a knickerbocker. <laughs> I just nice, took them off. I don't want nice to show off. How nice you're producing, George. Oh, I know. It's amazing as well. And I George mean, is very tanned. He's just been to Morocco. I've just been to Morocco and uh, just showing them, telling them all about middle-aged rinks. <laughs> <laughs> George, Moroccans. I've hit 6,000. I know, well done. I know, I What's mean, celebratory unbelievable, dance? Go on. unbelievable. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but I've just done the worst thing possible. I've just yeah. sent an email. Oh. I've done what everyone, I've sent an email this about is, someone. Well, come around here. To the person. Turn this off, you're I'll in, explain you're more. You're in trouble. I know, I am. No, keep going, keep going. <laughs> So just tell, tell no, me where we're going, George. Out. So um, nice. We're going to Hampton Court Palace um, yes. because we're doing a prereq for our show on the first. Yes. So we're going to go to some secret locations and meet some very interesting people who, well, who are going to give you a run for your money. Do you think they'll give us coffee? Oh, I don't know. Gasping. Maybe. Your notes are very thorough. <laughs> They're very thorough. Did you read them? For a new producer. <laughs> right, we're going in here. Come on. Oh.
George. Mm. How beautiful is this? It's stunning. Isn't it? You know I've started gardening. Beat sure. No, oh, Beat sure, my, uh, my mum's <laughs> my mum's poinsettia or whatever. I mean just significance of all the stained glass windows which I do not know. And here is to Amberley. And coming through there is one AH that's been left. Everything else, every bit of evidence towards Amberley has been moved but out there they, they missed it. And so if you come here you'll be able to see it but you know need to know what you're looking for. <laughs> so we've had a great time at Hampton Court. You'll see all this, or you'll hear it all actually. Sorry, you'll hear it all tomorrow because you'll be watching this on Sunday. Can I just say that George nearly knocked... I nearly knocked Henry VIII's hat on the floor. <laughs> this hat that is 450 years old that you're not allowed to touch. They all flinched and I, I don't know, they thought I was, I I was going to take it home or something. It we had a fun. laugh though, didn't we? We did have a laugh. I wasn't allowed to touch anything after that. No, no. So. Anyway, um, if you go to BBC Sounds, you'll hear the whole thing. And if you can't um, hear Joe, she just said go to BBC Sounds. Well, so we're on public transport. George and I don't really do public transport, do we? We've been trying to find a toilet, lavatory. Joe's just gone in the coffee cup. <laughs> Turn it off now, George. George? Yeah? We don't... Well, Joe says Oxford Circus is not don't... on any of these lines. You, I'm just finding you. I don't know the lines. She was you know, some people know. So, okay, they have a choice. Northern line to so um, before I finish this week's vlog, I thought I'd have a bit of a chat about everything to do with YouTube and to do with my YouTube channel. In the middle of this vlog, I showed a clip that happened at the Ivy because I had booked to interview a YouTuber who has millions of followers, to do an interview with her for my middle-aged minx strand of my YouTube channel. And um, we were waiting and this person just didn't turn up. I'm not gonna say who it is, but it really taught me something, which at my age, having been in the media for so long, I didn't think there was much left to learn. I could, uh, you know, I've experienced a lot of rejection and a lot of vitriol, as does everybody. If you put yourself out there, you expect to get stuff back. But just for someone not to turn up, and um, and we did get, in the end, we did get notice um, whilst we were there. And it taught me that I don't know a great deal about the YouTube world. I am so thrilled that I have 6,000 followers, 6,000 subscribers, and that's you. And you follow me every single week. And I've said this before, I love radio, but this is my passion. I absolutely love this because I have control over what you see and I just show you what I'm doing in my life. And I'm trying to prove, you know, you can do anything at whatever age. That's, you can have, just enjoy life at whatever age. But I learned that there are boundaries. In the YouTube community, there are boundaries. And um, not everybody wants to embrace everybody and I suppose if I had millions of subscribers I would that person would have turned up but I have 6,000 that's you and you mean everything to me uh, seriously so emotional um, but that's I just thought I'd tell you that and the other thing can I just say my podcast which I'm also passionate about Shafi Kusandi how cool is she you will find that on BBC Sounds and I'll link it below and um, yeah, a great week, a really good week, and I learned something. I learned more rejection, you know? That's something, isn't it, at the age of 64, and I'm sure I'll experience a lot more. Anyway, here's this week's walker. Keep sending them to me. If you know where this lady is, I'll give you a clue, it's Carnaby Street. Send me them, bye. I'm walking, here's the thing, and I'm talking, by you and me.